Hi. It's Eve and Georgia here with our weekly live. Quite excited this week because we've got another special guest joining us. If you've been following us on Instagram, you might have seen the teasers. We've got um, Armand Beasley, who is a celebrity makeup artist, a presenter, a skincare expert, um, and also um, he runs the stage, the war paint stage at Professional Beauty North, which is coming up very soon if you've not registered. 13th and 14th of October. We, um, we love having Armand involved in the shows because he's very much looked at as kind of a spokesman um, of the professional makeup industry um, and is very much in touch with the, the professional side um, yeah. and really invested in helping the kind of next generation of makeup artists learn the trade um, and really thrive and get a good start in the industry. So. Yeah, which is great because obviously he's got tons of celebrity clients, does loads of TV work and loads of glossy mags, but he's still very much in touch with the industry and the roots, which is great. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know if Armand's joined us yet. Let's see, I've not seen him join. I've seen him join. <laughs> Hopefully he will, in it. he will tap in soon. But yeah, we also just wanted to, obviously to remind everybody that Professional Beauty North is coming up. Um, Armand is hosting the stage for Warpaint. He's also um, one of the judges for the Warpaint competition, uh, the head judge in the Real Beauty category. Oh, Armand's joined us, so... Hi. <laughs> Hi, Armand. We will uh, get him in. Oh, here we go. Let me just patch him through. So, um, fingers crossed this yeah, works. Go live with Armand Beasley. Let's see. Just waiting for a connection. So yeah, mm. any second now, <laughs> we will be chatting to Armand. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Hi, how are you, Armand? I'm really good. How are you good. two? Are you well? Yeah, really well. Really this well, is interesting. I can't quite hear the volume. Let me just turn this volume up so we can hear you. Oh, let me do the same. Oh, yeah. That is better. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. we can hear you much yeah. better. <laughs> So fabulous, thanks so much for joining us. We've, we've done a very quick intro to uh, kind of tell everyone, I mean, I think most people know who you are, but for anyone who doesn't, to just sort of talk a little bit about who you are and how you work with professional beauty, because obviously we've worked with you for, for years now, which is fabulous. Um, so yeah, um, we thought actually though, we would kick off, before we get on to what you're doing at the show, um, we thought that we might kick off with a bit about trends, if that's okay, because obviously yeah. you work on um, tons of celebrities, tons of... Uh, consumer mags and uh, TV, so you're very much in touch with what's going on. Do you mm. have um, any kind of tip for what we might see next year for top trends in makeup? I think there's going to be a fusion between technology and makeup and cosmetics next year. There's going to be more um, evolution with um, certainly using your handheld device to, um, uh, to see what kind of looks suit you. So um, that's not only as a consumer, but as a makeup artist. So you can create your trends on your iPhone or your Samsung or whatever, and people can tap into that and then they can see if that look suits them. So I think there's going to be a lot of translatable kind of um, a crossover between technology and makeup. But we are gonna see a lot of different textures. So we've seen mattes fused with um, gloss uh, so we, we're seeing gloss placement at the moment, a lot of it around the eye area and then very, very matte lips. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be more into the body, a, a lot more air, nail art, art as well. And um, I think the, the general feel of hair, makeup and body coming together as one. So not just the makeup stand alone. I think a lot of people are going to be experimenting with hair trends as well as their makeup trends and of course body trend as well. But the, I think it'll be split. So you're still going to get something very experimental and then something very, very strict back. So away from the tattoos, away from the heavy kind of looks and very much back to nature. So that with mm -hmm. that on one hand and then the very much full on glamour and, and quite tribal on the other hand as well. Mm. And with something like a really high gloss makeup look, um, kind of that is very catwalking, very editorial. So mm. How can salon makeup artists translate that kind of thing into a wear like wearable looks for their clients? It's all about placement. So you just have to be careful where you place it because, again, with your your normal clients that you get in the salon. Um, the chances are they're not going to be a catwalk model. So you're going to have to contend with um, the maturity of the skin, the elasticity of the skin, and uh, people's lifestyles. So it's about clever placements. So placing gloss perhaps on the top of the cheekbone is something that's very, very easy to do. 
and very wearable for the majority of people. And in, even on younger skin as well, putting a little bit of gloss on the eyelid is really good. However, it won't last. You will get the crease and the creating. So it depends on really what it's for. Mm. Yeah, excellent. Cool. And also your big focus, as we know at the moment, is beauty with a conscience um, mm. and you're kind of focusing about vegan beauty. Um, and you're speaking about this at um, <laughs> the Beauty North, aren't you, on the, on the wall paint stage. Can you tell us anything about that? Give any kind of hints from your talk about what you might be educated about? Um, for a while, I've been a massive fan of organic and natural um, health and well-being and beauty. Um, but... For, for many years, I've been very disappointed with the quality of the products that have been coming through from a natural makeup perspective. Um, I felt that there was a massive gap in the market for um, a pro makeup friendly brand that also ha was ethical and um, cruelty free, which is very important for me as well. And um, also was, was really high functioning. Um, there are a few brands now, which I will highlight on the stage when I'm there. Uh, brands like Imani, and there's also Inika Organic, which is a beautiful brand. So there's quite a few coming through. Um, even the mainstream brands have got, um, they, they've got their vegan brands, like, for example, Urban Decay is a vegan brand. Um, Kat Von D is vegan. And so it's ticking that box. But what I wanted to do with my demo is also talk about waste, talk about packaging, disposables mm. as well. Um, I'm loving this brand at the moment uh, called Pro Hygiene Collection, and I know you guys know Antonia. Yeah. Um, and for a while I've been supporting her because she's got this beautiful, um, these beautiful disposables, which are bamboo based. So if you think about as a professional, how many disposables you go through, yeah. it's incredible. And the amount of single use plastic that we're using, as yeah. professionals is obscene yeah. and it's really down to us to actually make a stand and do something about that and help educate our customers as well as our peers so um please go and check them out for anybody who's watching that's pro hygiene collection cool excellent we look forward to that on the wall yeah. paint stage as well more. and um speaking of really great natural brands um and high products you have a little announcement of your own <laughs> i'm so excited <laughs> so, so, yeah. everyone a little bit about that well um, i was approached a number of years to do a makeup range and it was never quite right for me because i was never happy with the packaging um a lot of the time you had to go over to china to create the products i don't particularly want to create the beauty products in china um and for the past six years i've been creating an organic makeup range which will be coming out fingers crossed, next year. But I'm so excited to, to launch Pro Body Glow, which is 100% natural, high shine body product. Um, I just happen to have one here. Oh, of course. Ta -da! There you go. So you guys hopefully be able to see this. We're actually launching at Professional Beauty North. I'm so excited about that. <laughs> so Although I'll be on the stage at Warpaint, so I won't <laughs> even be on my stand. Oh. Um, but just to show you what it's like, um, hopefully you can see, I'll put it on my hand. So it's great for, for men, it's great for uh, women. I wanted to do this. For a lot of my celebrity clients, I do a lot of red carpet work. Um, so I wanted to make sure that we had a nice high gloss body product that um, looks fantastic on the red carpet. So, so sheeny. Um, yeah, so that's my arm there. And that's that's the one with the gloss so it's really it's beautiful on the legs it's beautiful on the arms great in the decollete and um, as i said 100 percent natural so we've got a lot of organic ingredients in there but a lot of natural ingredients too um so yeah that's the reason why i want to do it because the, the products i've been using in the past were very very greasy and um this is not greasy it's conditioning um, so you've got propolis, you've got honey in there, extra virgin olive oil, frankincense, some gorgeous things. Because again, some of my clients are mature, mature stars as well. And I wanted something that was conditioning for their body. Yeah. yeah. So a great kind of skin finishing product as well, as well as kind of skin care. Mm -hmm. I see this being invaluable to salon owners, as well as makeup artists, professionals. Um, getting people ready for the catwalk, or if they've had 
a treatment at your spa or your salon, popping this on their body, and it is, your, the body will just feel absolutely incredible mm -hmm. for hours afterwards. As well as getting an initial hit of the shine, um, you really do get that beautiful smoothness to your skin all day long. Lovely. So pros can play up the first time at Yeah, yeah. so that's launching at the show, which is really exciting. And yeah. this time, while we're just talking about the show, you're also a yes. um, head judge for the Real Beauty category of the wallpaper yes. competition. Um, have you got any tips for entrants? What are you going to be looking for from, from the competition this year? Um, so my, um, my show is entitled um, International Woman. So I'm looking for people to have non-professional models. That, that's another criteria. They've got to be... Um, just normal everyday girls or women. Um, so we're, look, we're spreading the net out. We want to invite um, our uh, student artists or even pro artists, because we've got that pro category as well, to think about women from all over the globe. So it could be African heritage, um, Native American Indian, it could be, it could be anything, um, Chinese, Japanese, whatever, just to celebrate that particular culture, um, that skin type, that skin tone, because it's very, very difficult to, certainly as a student, to get the skin tone right for people of colour. So I really wanted to put the focus on that. So it's attention to detail, it's subtlety, it's using your craft very, very subtly to create a really, really powerful impact. And that's hair and makeup. And I'm thrilled that I'm going to have Thomas Hope, who is the artistic director of Artiste, um, which is the online hair and, and beauty app, um, who's going to be joining me to judge as well. Excellent. Wow. Well, really looking forward to seeing the results there. Yeah. Sounds like a really interesting category. That sounds great. So you're going to be coming <laughs> over to see me, you guys. Yeah, definitely. Well, that's how it's going on. We've got loads of opportunities to see you at PB North. You're going to yeah. be all day. <laughs> <laughs> so as we said, there's loads for makeup artists going on there. So, yeah, thanks so much for everything that you're, you're going to get involved with at PB North. And anyone who's not registered yet, it's professionalbeauty.co.uk forward slash register. Come and join us 13th, 14th of October at uh, Event City of Manchester. And also, if there's, if there's any colleges watching as well, there's a fabulous prize of £1,000 um, and the College Cup. So yes. that's, that's brilliant. And that's been sponsored by VTCT. So, uh, yeah, please do. Colleges, do get your, um, your students subscribed. Yes, yeah. Great. Well, we're, we're about out of time, I think, Armand, but it's so nice to, uh, to speak to you. Thanks so much for joining Thanks. us. It's been really oh, you know, it's been delightful, and it's been long overdue. We've been trying to kind of do something like this yeah. for a long yes. time. It's been and great. And on the topic, we can read, um, we've got an interview with Armand going into our um, November yeah. issue. So make sure you check that out too, Professional Beauty November issue. And we will see you, Armand, and you viewers um, <laughs> at the show. Yes. Yay! Yeah. Can't wait. Bye. Yes. Thanks Come so over much. and see us at the war paint stage. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All Thanks right. everyone. Bye. Thanks, Armand.